Uh, come on, go ahead and worship him. If God has done awesome things in your life this weekend, lift up your hands and worship him. Lift up your voice and worship him. Oh, Shatala Banamanash. He has done for us the things that we can't do for ourselves. Hey, Shanabalataya Namash. Breaking evil foundations and planting us on a solid rock that does not fail. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Shatai Anamosa. Hey, Anamosa, Namanosa. Anamosa. Just go ahead and worship him, everyone. Go ahead and worship him. Think of all that God has done for you this weekend and worship him. Hey, Anamosa. Hey, Anamosa. Hey, Shata, Masuna Manesha, Enamoso to Shadalaba. Hande Alabos, O Kemo, O Kemo, Mone, Natuego. Shadey and the boss, Hayana Malaka, the God of all spirits, the God of all spirits, the God of all spirits, we worship you. Shadey and the boss, na Malika ya na bossa, hey boss, shana manos, shana mande ya na bossa, oh kemo. Worship him. 
Talabosa, Talamana Masuni and Delebosa. Hey, Sataya la Bosa, Nanamana Nahas. The ones you've saved, that's what we've come to do to worship you, Jesus. Shana Palabosa, Namalesha, Dalabosa, Hayanabosa, Nianesha, Namalesha, Kayanabosa, Hayanabosa. The ones you saved have come to worship you. The ones you've saved have come to worship you. The ones you saved have come to worship you. The ones you saved have come to worship you. We call you Savior.
two minutes, just praise him. Just thank him for last week. Just thank him. Just bless his name this morning. Just worship him. Praise him in your own song. In your own, you want to dance to him, dance to him. You want to praise him in tongues. You want to praise him in your native language. But anyhow, just praise him. If you know what God did for I, 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 I. Hey! Kaya pele kotena na masakata la manaya. We praise you, Lord. We praise you. We praise you. We praise you. Sayatana na mashada parakaya. In kala na mina teke tele kana mani atene moksha parakaya. Mountain mover, we praise you. Foundation mover, we praise you. Hey! 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 At the blast of your nostrils, Kai! The foundations of the water was seen. Hey! Oh! Hey! Hey! You are mighty. Hey! 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 We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We give you all the praise. We give you all the praise, oh God. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Is someone excited this morning? Can you can you express it? Let me see. Can you express it? Show us the scripture maybe to help us express it more. Revelation chapter 13, verse 8. Hey, Kai. He says, And who all who dwell on the earth we worship him, whose names have not been written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Okay, let's see NLT. See, and all the people who belong to this world worship the beast. They are the ones whose names we are not written in the book of life. Before the world was made. The book that belongs to the lamb who was slaughtered. A version says, before the foundation of the world. So there was a sacrifice that was laid in our new foundation. And this sacrifice was laid before the foundation of the world. You know, before, I used to understand this scripture as... Before God created the world, he slaughtered Jesus. But, you know, if something is before something, it means that it is older than it, Abby. It is more superior than it. So, before the world system, hallelujah, before this other pattern started coming up, who started making sacrifice of bulls and goats and all that, there was one that was slaughtered. That one is more superior. It is stronger. It is more powerful. Can someone make a joyful noise unto the Lord? Hey! If you know you have been planted on this sure foundation of Christ, I say, can you make a joyful noise? Hey! Don't see your neighbor. Ask your neighbor, can you smell abundance? Don't tell other person, can you smell it? Can you smell it? Hey! Oh. If you want to shout, shout. You want to shout, 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 shout. Hey! Right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's have our seats. Let's have our seats. Sit down as someone sitting on a sure foundation. You know, there's a hymn that says, On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. Amen. Amen. I want to welcome everyone to church to join us online in our various branches. You are highly welcome to this phenomenal service. Amen. All right, we have beautiful testimonies. We have powerful testimony. So as you hear your name, quickly run to the microphone. Okay, I have Agu Blossom. Mm. 
God's gift, Iwanya. Prince Excellence. Petra Ebere. Fidelis Kosi Sochuku. Ayola Akimpelu. Joy Chukuka. Obi Ewelobi. The Prince Azubike. Michael Unzubechu. So, go straight to the point. 60 seconds. Straight to the point. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Dad and Mom. I want to thank God for his mercies. I want to thank God for Solid Foundation Convention. It was, I don't know what to use to describe it, but I just want to thank God because on Friday, we were here breaking 40 foundations. And you know, we, I was here, yeah, we were all here breaking 40 foundations and the devil went to my home. He wanted me to, not to come to service today. Okay, my sisters, we were on a bike. A drunk rider collided with their own. I just want to thank God for giving the bike man stamina. Only she just sustained a little pain on her neck. I said that was all. She doesn't know how that thing happened. On that same Friday, my uncle was almost crushed by a trailer. He was driving that same Friday. I just want to return all the glory to God because he did not allow me to come with negative testimony. When the enemy came like a mighty flood, he raised a standard against them. Glory be to Almighty. Hallelujah. God. We give God praise. We give God praise. None shall be lost. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Church. Good morning. Okay, uh, I testified a while ago about some funds I lost on the Wednesday after LC. They, they withdrew from my account three times. They returned one, I think, some weeks ago. And the remaining two were returned after Friday prayer meeting. The remaining two came back to my account. Hallelujah! I want to thank God for Solid Foundation Convention. While Dad was ministering on Friday, a, a lot of patterns I never knew. They just connected and they've been taken care of. I want to thank God for the gift of a pastor. Dad, thank you. Mom, thank you. The Bible study yesterday was phenomenal. Thank you so much. I want to thank God for the gift of a disciple, Pastor T. God bless you. And then lastly, I want to thank God for a sure, not just a sure, a solid, not just a solid, a stable foundation. Thank you so much. We give God praise. We give God praise. Amen. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Church. Good morning. I'm very, very happy to be here. Dad and Mom, I thank you personally for what people are doing in our lives. Well, my testimony is on Thursday when I was going to work. Well, I shared this testimony with my colleagues in the office. When I was going to work on, Saturday, on Thursday at um, Step, some guys just crossed me. They were driving GMK Benz. So they started asking me some question of a hotel, which I didn't know. So I started telling the guy, I don't know the hotel. Before you know, the guy brought out something and kept on drawer seats and started speaking on language I don't understand. Before you know it, I switched into tongues. I started speaking tongues yes. to the guy. Yeah, that's how it's done. So when I was speaking in tongues, he was, he was pointing at a guy. Before you know it, the guy came to my back and palm me at the back. I turned immediately, I slapped the guy. The thing, the thing was, let me just say, it was not like me because I normally say, let me just pet something. I was asking, so immediately they opened the draw that door. It was three guys that door because I didn't know that three guys was at the back. Before you know, I started screaming. The Nipco, that Philly station, the people that we are wanted to buy for it, ran out. Before you know it, those people drive off. I want to thank you because I want to still make it as advice to us because now the Yahoo have entered another thing. Like we don't even this thing I'm telling you, small, small guys that you know that keeping them one on one, you can beat them. But they are into spiritual negative that we ourselves have to understand that to start being conscious of who we are. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, it's very important. The Bible says that we are, we carry the Godhead inside of us. 
So if someone comes to with any power, we are carrying the most powerful in us. We are carrying the one whose name is powerful. Hallelujah. So we should have that consciousness. Amen. We give God praise. Okay. Praise God. Hallelujah. Good morning, God. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, church. Good morning. I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. And I want to thank God for yesterday, the solid foundation. Yes. So um, there was something that Dad said yesterday during our class. Um, I've forgotten the portion of the Bible he read, but that is the Holy Spirit that gives us the will to please God. And, you know, for a long while I've been trying to be righteous by myself, but that portion of the Bible, like, he really enlightened me. And I also want to thank God today. Today is my birthday. I think, <laughs> I think I'm the most excited person to be here today. I just want to thank God. He's been faithful. He's been kind. His unfailing love has been constant to us, me and my family. I just want to give him all the praise. Praise the Lord. Amen. Happy birthday. Okay. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Church. Good morning. Okay, my testimony. I want to thank God. Thank you, Dad. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the weekend. Because prior to the weekend, I there are some issues that came up in my family and it was something I could not just undo on my own that this thing, if you people want to leave yourself, you can go ahead and do it. I I was so overwhelmed. And solid foundation came. And it was it was just a deliverance for my family and personally to me. I I just have Jesus. I just have this understanding that I am now planted. I, I now have a new foundation that my the generation that will proceed out of me can stand and it is solid. I have a I don't it's not something I can share, but the revelation I had from last night to this morning, it just confirmed everything that was done through the weekend. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give God praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you, Dad. God bless you, Mom. God bless everyone. Solid foundation was for me. Thank God. If you are not here during the weekend, please get the message and help yourself. Um, this uh, message for me was, was eye-opening. You know, there, there are some pattern in my family that I prayed about it. It has been canceled. But you know, like mom was explaining, you finish praying. When they mention it again, you still come out. Like you, like maybe when you finished praying before, you collected it back and went back with it that you now believe. But this, this, there's this realization now that I'm standing on a new foundation. Like, I can't, I can't, it, there's nothing concerning me about that one again. It is gone and gone forever. Yesterday, yesterday night when I go home, I was listening to the message again. And then when I started praying about the foundation thing, I wanted to start praying about it. I said, no, ne, ah, what are you praying again? You just been canceled. Ne. As I said, hey, Father, I thank you for breaking foundation. I thank you for breaking this pattern. I thank you for giving me a new pattern. I just want to thank God for that, for that clarity, for that understanding. It's, it's life Hallelujah. for me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Dad, mom, good morning. Good morning, family. I want to thank God for a solid foundation convention. I, I, there, there are some patterns that have been going on in my family that I did not even know were, were like something to pray about until Dad started mentioning cases. He started mentioning cases. And when, as he was saying it, my, my eyes were cast back. And I was like, okay, this thing is happening, no? This thing is happening. This thing. And he was calling cases on cases. And I realized these are foundations that would actually, because we have started seeing them in our own lives now. But we didn't pay attention to, I didn't pay attention to the backlog that has happened before until this convention. And I really want to bless God for putting me on a sure and a solid foundation. Me and my family. Praise God. Hallelujah. We give God praise. We give God praise. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. Okay. Um, um, my testimony goes like this. Yesterday, after the solid convention, solid foundation convention, we were going back home, and I'm living inside school. So as we are about boarding a keke that will take us to um, where we are living, we saw the vigilantes men, the security men. So they stopped the first keke um, in our front. So on coming to ours, the first um, vigilante guy approached me. We are trained inside the keke, and he asked us, where, who are we? What are, where are we going? 
and we told him that we are students because it's already to nine and he was asking us where are we coming from by this time of the day that we are the people terrorizing the area that we are the people disturbing them and we t- and i told him that i'm a student it's okay show me proof where is your id card and i do not have my id card with me the second person that was sitting beside me showed him he, um, his the, the third girl she's not a student and she told that one that she's going to go back meanwhile the first keke in front of us they have already brought everybody inside their, them out uh, inside the keke out and told them that they are going to do night vigil with them packing them inside that ca- um, their car so i was like holy spirit this cannot be happening to me and i remember what my disciple would always tell me that any sacrifice i make everything that i'm doing that i should place a demand on it and i started muttering in my spirit that holy spirit that you just know how you're going to go about this thing so as we were doing everything, the second one was holding machete and he was telling me that she I'm the people that are terrorizing this area. One thing that happened yesterday is that I have this calmness. I wasn't shivering, nothing, nothing. I just had this boldness in me. I was just confronting myself. Well, there was no shivering in me. So when the second man came, so what happened? What did the Holy Spirit? As the happened? Holy Spirit, as, as the second um, um, security man was trying to, you know, all these stout people who are trying, they were, he was trying to use the machete to, um, like, intimidate me. And I was telling the Holy Spirit, do this thing the way you, you are going to go about it. So the first one was telling him that he should come down, he should come down. That this guy doesn't look like someone that can be terrorizing this area. And he told me that I should call the name of my cost rep or my department anybody that she got my hod and i, I didn't know my hod name or anything and <laughs> and <laughs> it came to me that this guy is going to he said that he's going to that i'm going to do night with you with them there yesterday i was like holy spirit do this thing the way you're going to do it in the second one started coming in started coming and he told him that okay leave him leave them leave them Meanwhile, the first came in front of they packed everybody inside their car, and, and the other guy and the man. man so you are delivered and you left. You didn't do night vigil with them, happy. Yes, you give God praise. You give God praise. Good morning, Dad. Good morning, Mom. Good morning, Church. Good morning. I have plenty of testimonies, but I'm gonna give two. You know, I've been hearing about creative miracles. I believed, but I have seen one. 2020, my sister was diagnosed of fibroid. She believed God and she, she said she's not going to go under the blade. January 2020, by November, it got worse, her stomach was swollen. So she opted for an operation. Thank God for that. <laughs> that took us to PMP 2020, and I had just two prayer topics um, successful surgery and this positive relationship she has been in for over five years. The guy travel abroad and be prim- promising marriage from abroad. Okay, so um, January, they, she entered theater, they opened up her, her system and they found out that the five brothers have eaten up her womb. I, I, I don't know what happened, but believe me, what I'm saying is real. The doctor said that they're going to cut out all the whole womb. My mom have to sign with tears and all that. But we have a God that has spare parts. When they opened up and was removing the womb, lo and behold, there was a fresh womb under the destroyed womb. You know, this thing happened January 2021. February ending, the Italian guy that traveled to Italy called and said that he's no more doing it again after five years. And my sister was crying. I told my sister it's a prayer answered. March ending, a brother approached my sister. I don't know how it happened. Two months later, they paid her price price. July ending, she did trad. October 23rd, she did wedding. Last Wednesday, 8 a.m., they called me and said my sister is inside the delivery room. <laughs> but there are compli- no, there are complications. High blood pressure and all that. I took myself, I entered that place. I told God I would die inside here unless my sister come out of that place. I was there for over four hours until I got a call and I heard that my sister and the baby are saved. She has delivered a bouncing baby girl. Can someone give the Lord a shout? Can someone give the Lord a highest praise? Hallelujah! That's not all. Yesterday, after God uh, pumped us through dad and mom, I was going home uh, at Amansi. I saw seven guys with bike and 
I don't know whether the grand must go was there. They were collecting offering. When I mean offering is, you get to that point, you give out everything in you. This was happening about two eight. When I saw them, they flashed touch on me. I, I cannot run again. And it's, at the, it's just close to my house. With a hard mom's voice. Courage is, act, is, not, is not the absence of fear. But acting even when you have fear in you. Brethren, I burst into tongues. That they were standing there. I was speaking in tongues. Coming close to them. Seven guys with ammunition. When I got there, one person flashed me and said, Hey, pastor, is that you? Your God have saved you today. Come and pass. As in, it's... <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We give God praise. You know, I say something. When you are asked, who are you? Your identity is not your career. Are you going to what I'm saying? It's not, it's not what you do. Because they ask, who are you? I'm a student. And I say, name your head, Jody. <laughs> you are proud. I, please. We have to get that message on identity by mom. You to understand it. You are primarily a Christian. You see, I'm a pastor. I remember when we started going to um, Uli. Most of the times, why they allow us to pass is because we said that we are going for mission work. They will just allow us. Others, they will take something from them. But say we are, we are pastors. We are going for me. Ah, the pastor. Okay, we go, go, go. Praise God. So now is not a time to be shying away from who you are. Yes, I know what I'm saying. You're a Christian. You say, name your HOD. Go. Where is he? He's inside of me. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, finally. Okay, good morning, mom. Good morning, dad. Good morning, church. Good morning. Um, I want to thank God for complete deliverance. You know, uh, on Friday, during the course of the service, dad said something. He said um, uh, that, you know, even when you've given your life to Christ, if you've not addressed the foundation that you were, like, you have been building on before, that even when it gets to the point that God, like when you receive blessings from God on a faulty foundation, that that blessings, like it would not, it would not amount to anything. So my life before, it was like a sieve, you know, pouring water inside the sieve. It's not that the water is not coming inside the boy, you know, that it cannot retain it. It's just like pouring it and then it's all leaking out. But I want to thank God for this convention this weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dad. Thank you so much, Mom. It addressed so much in my life. Like, the way I am, you know, the way my life is right now, you know, that point you get to, you be like, now, now, money, they find me. Like, that kind. Hallelujah. <laughs> that kind of so Hallelujah. I want, give, I want to give God thanks. Amen. We give God praise. Can we celebrate Jesus? All right, we have a testimony from online. Okay. It says, good afternoon. Good day, wonderful family. Good day, dad and mom. Good day, pastors. I want to bless the name of our almighty God, for he has caused me to believe in him. And then he moved to show himself mighty as he always does. I was having issues with my school results for some months now, and it would have restricted me from joining my mates to attend law school this year. But blessed be the name of our God, because he has made all things beautiful in his time. The issue has been sorted out, and I am so excited. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. How many of us remember, you know, when um, the Solid Convention started, Solid Foundation Convention started, Pastor made a declaration that this weekend is going to kickstart a breakthrough in our lives. How many of us remember? And it was up to 24 hours. This testimony came in. Hallelujah. So we give God praise. The one that confirms the word of his servants. Hallelujah. Can we be on our feet? Can we thank God for the gift of pastor? Can we thank God for the gift of... Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Thank you. Can we thank God? Can we appreciate God? God has given us the best gift. God has given us the best gifts. Can we, can we appreciate God? 
who knows what we need at every point in time.
I'm free indeed. In Christ, I'm free indeed. No chains are holding me. It's who I choose to be. I'm free indeed. Hallelujah. Hey. In Christ, I'm free. No chains can hold me back. It's just who I decided to be. It's who I'm free. Let's go! 